Stage etiquette. When to be a jerk and when to be a sweet saint. We'll give you some tips on that. Stay tuned. It's me, Baxter. And Jonathan. At Casino Guitars. At Casino Guitars. Coming at you hard and fast. I love it. Thanks for saying that. Harder, faster, faster, slower. I love me some Kanye. Classic. No, this comes up a lot. There's been lots of things happening. I feel like things have changed a lot with the, the interaction between the audience and fans and uh, and then the, and the, the rock stars are there to see or the pop stars are there to see. So we wanted to dig into it. There's been lots of the shenanigans happening and it's been happening since day one. But it's got a little weird ever since the whole plague and stuff. Things changed a bit. And, <laughs> and now, now we're getting back on track. So um, when you're on stage... And you're doing a, doing a rock show. Yep. You know, there's there's interaction between the audience, right? There should be. Like, let's say for the rock stars, you know, Taylor Swift has it, even though she has a highly choreographed thing. Sometimes things happen, though. Yes. And you got to react to it. Yes. You know, let's say somebody throws a pair of big boxer briefs on stage. Awesome. Taylor could use the opportunity to shut the show down. Yes. And throw a fit. Yes. And cancel the rest of the concert. That's exactly what should happen. And cost millions. For Taylor Swift. Nice. Or... Ignore it or make a funny bit out of it. Probably the best. Funny bit. Yeah. Things like that. I saw recently, like Harry Styles had some, he was, he throws water in the audience because he does a lot of talking in his shows and makes it sort of a hammy. He's all about fun and happiness. Yeah. Then somebody sprayed some beer in his face, sort of just being silly. He got the beer in his eye. He could have made a fit of it. He just brought the audience member to the top and just dumped some water on them. And they, they had a great time and it was all cool. Or he could have been like Axl Rose and jumped in the face and punched him hard in the head. You know, which was also kind of cool. This makes me think about like the Keith Richards smacking the dude with the. Oh, that was cool. You know, the guy ran on that. stage. Yeah, that's a different thing, right? Like someone actually runs onto the stage. That's that's definitely crossing the line. No, um, we saw like Ronnie Ronnie Radke from Falling in Reverse. Like he's gotten a lot of trouble because he actually has thrown his mic stands in the audience, and he broke a woman's face like that. Apparently, yeah. I knew nothing about broke this. We're talking a about it before. Face. That sounds horrible. That's I something do. I don't think you should be. I think you should go to jail. Like if you do something like that, that is assault. Yeah, I don't know why that's, you would do that. That's like people like hanging up like a wire or something when there's like motorcyclers going yeah, on a yeah, path. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's attempted murder. I think that is assault with a deadly weapon with a metal microphone stand that you're throwing in the audience. It's, I had I had a chain on my motorcycle one time, and it like uh, <laughs> wait what happened? I was a kid, man. Riding my dirt bike, and these oh. people did not like that we were riding up this uh, trail, oh. and the chain was draped across the road. Luckily, I turned into it; like I wasn't just going full throttle. But I remember seeing that chain come up over the fender and catching me under my neck, my helmet, and just could've like catch you, could have killed you. Oh, dude! If I'd been going faster, but it, I had a nasty bruise and broke the back fender off the dirt bike. Did you bike. lay it down? Is that what you did? Well, it hit me, and I just ended oh. up doing a crazy wheelie, and like you know. So just note to self, if you have so, yeah. problem people with people riding that. bikes, don't do that to people. I don't ride motorcycles, but that's really mean. That's really that's, mean. It's and not, if you kill people, nice. you could, could have had no Jonathan Robinson. It would have been very sad. Or we could have had him without a head. Like head, in Sicario, like yeah. when they when the Mexican drug lords were cutting all the people's heads off. Great movie. I watched it twice recently. I had to watch it once by myself, and I had to watch it with my wife again. I was like, man, I forgot how good that movie is. If you haven't seen Sicario, go watch it. The second one, don't even waste your time. First one's amazing. Amazing. Second one, again, don't waste your time. Um, no, let's jump into like realistic performance things. Let's let's talk about. You mean not not in the stadium of eight not, <laughs> not Taylor Swift. Let's go to uh, Jonathan yeah. Robinson stages of you know eighty to like three hundred to a thousand maybe. Yeah. You know, like if you're playing like a, a good place, like you could be anywhere from like fifty, hundred, five hundred to a thousand. But you're playing. Let's say let's say you're playing the Nashville Broadway scene. <laughs> tell, tell us anything. Has there any, ever been any stage? Of things? I've had a few random things. I was telling the, the the one I was telling earlier is you know people people were so bad about thinking that they could just set all their drinks you know up at the edge of the stage. Now this or, enters or the audience etiquette. Um, now these are not huge stages. It's not like there's feet you know even. I mean we're talking like junk piled up around your pedal board. <laughs> there was one time where these 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 ladies we'll call them. Um, just would not stop putting their full drinks there and, and their purses. And I warned them multiple times 
And finally, well, because it's all right next to your pedal board. Next to my pedal like board, thousands right. of dollars worth of this is your livelihood. Yes. So I did just take a little running, running leap and just kick the whole row off. Glasses. Did they drinks. see this happen? Oh yeah. What was the reaction in their faces? Do you remember? They were just like frozen uh, fear. <laughs> like like I mean, they didn't even get. They I think they were too shocked to be mad about it. But um, I think it was like yes, yeah, so like. We yeah, but I, we didn't even pause. Like we didn't quit playing. We didn't do anything, you know. I but I had I had gone down and, and and asked them very nicely, and that was probably the wrong reaction on my part. But I think it was, it was the. Pr- I think that's a cool reaction. I think you made some yeah. people feel cool. Probably, hopefully. You know, I remember like this is. I think I've told the story before. I'll be really quickly though, and this is not me on stage. It was me. I, I had to work as a bouncer <laughs> for one night. Because the bouncer didn't show up at this club I worked at, <laughs> and um, and this guy kept getting on stage with the audience, and like he kept trying to get him, he grabbed the mic stand a bunch, so I eventually had to go grab him from the back of his shirt and throw him out of the bar because you shouldn't, if you're bothering the performer, we gotta get you out. Yeah. And then he waited outside to what I assume was to pummel me because he was a much bigger man. I don't know how I threw him out, um, much bigger. And then he wanted to buy me a drink afterwards, and he said I'd never felt as cool as I had in the past as 15 being years. Thrown out. Because he was an older guy, he's probably like my age now. Or yeah. younger, yeah. I'm ancient. I mean, you know, I, the places cool. that I play now, I get that a lot. People coming up, like drunk people wandering up on on stage, wanting to talk or sing most of the time, right? And I usually just make it into something it's funny, fun. You know what I mean? You, the, now, um, let's jump yeah. into like the 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 Billy Joe from Green Day event that happened a few years ago, I think, when he was doing a Live Nation show, and like, he threw sort of a, a some called a tantrum. First, I was like, wow, that's really silly. Then I went back and thought about it some more, rewatched it. I'm 100% on Billy Joel's side. Billy Joe, not Joel. Joe's side. Uh, Armstrong. Because he was he was doing a Live Nation event, and they started to count down like, when he had to get off stage. And they're like, get off. And he was like, you're telling me to get off? Blank you. And he went on this little thing. And it's it kind of cute. And, like, but I was like, you know what? He, it is a punk band. They came from a punk. Yeah, they're world famous rock and roll band. But like the core is punk. The heart is punk. He's, okay. And they built this stage. That yep. they're playing on right now, like, like all these bands built with this mega monopoly, monolithic, like you know, Live Nation thing is, they don't exist without the product. And the product True. is this band, True. and that band was like the main headliner, and it should be because it's freaking Green Day. Yep. You know, they've sold out arenas across the world. You don't tell them when you get off stage. Let them finish their song, yeah. and be like, hey, or type in something nicer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> dear Mister Billy, dear yeah. Mister Joe Mr. Armstrong. Joe. Um, no, or just like, or just like, dude, like your song is crushing it. Like, you know, can you? I don't know. I get it. I get. There's like, they have like a time they have to get yeah. off. There's like rules with each town, ordinances, money and stuff. But you're making so much money. Screw it. You got to pay a fine. You guys take the pie. Here's here's a question. Here's one for you. Go. What about the ones with like cell phones? So like, you know, I remember. I can't remember who this was, but if, it's been years now. The guy goes and kicks the person's cell phone. It was on video, like the rock band. And then there was one not too long ago where, like, uh, I guess Miranda, Miranda Lambert maybe stopped the people from taking selfies. I don't really know the details because I just didn't care that much. But, should, I, could, you know, should should the performers be upset that people are on their phones? No. Yeah. It's like, I I'm, I don't do the phone at concerts myself because I'm amazed because I'm an older generation. And I just, I, I go to a concert to enjoy the concert. If I want to see a video of it, I'll get on YouTube later. I don't need to have the my shaky cell phone. Handed video of the concert, which you never watch again. Have you? No one has ever watched oh, one of those. Look videos at this clip again. I got. Maybe you posted it right oh, somewhere, but this you is never. The best. You know, yeah, no. I was no. there. I have one. I filmed at my Chemical so my son. I filmed my son singing the Black Parade when they started the song. That's a cool memory. And that was it. I just yeah. want to have that, yeah. so I have that. But I didn't film the band. Totally. I can go on YouTube and get that anytime I want. But I, I think it's also you. Everyone's paid tickets. They can do whatever they want to. You pay a lot for tickets now, too. Let everybody film away. You're a celebrity. That's part of the price of celebrity. You know, if someone comes in here and like wants to get a picture with a rock star, let them get a picture with a rock star. I'm going to bring it down to higher level. Oh, God. Back to the pores. So when I do acoustic gigs. So this is, I, I don't know. I would never notice this with a band gig. It's too loud, right? I'm sure it happens. But occasionally I'll be playing in a brewery or something. And people will be like, you know. From here to the wall. I know you guys can't see the wall, but we're talking like 20 feet away. And they will like whip out their phone at the table and like put on a video like so loud or like a song so loud That's that I can hear weird. it. I'm like, why are you listening to a song? <laughs> I'm making you a know. song. It's I know. Just, it's just weird. Um, <laughs> that is strange. Don't do that. Don't I mean, do that to people. Th- there's stage etiquette too, like from the performers of like, you know, 
and it's tricky. You get caught up in the moment. You start talking, going yeah. rants. Yeah, probably. probably you you got you got to be careful about your rants. You know, like Santana just had one recently that could get you know him in a little bit of trouble, which is absurd. But if you know Bruce Springsteen or Neil Young can say the same thing in an opposite fa- fashion, and nothing happens. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so it's um, this is true. Um, it, it, that <laughs> it's I've always been like a little stage manner is cool. I've always sort of been. I, I don't like to talk a lot, and I don't like to generally hear people talk a lot. If you're going to talk, um, you have to create the vibe. Yes. And you create the story, and you can... Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. If you go to see a Neil Young show, you're expecting some politics. You, you are. And that's okay. Um, Even though it's just kind of cranky at this point. But, you, you know, know, that's part of the deal. I, I, like you said, it would be nice if, if just, you know, people could take that and then still enjoy the music and... Well, that'd be the thing too. We could jump into whole cancel culture right there for a minute too. Like it's the absurdity of all that. Like when a performer says something, it's the spur of the moment. They're just talking. Let them talk. This isn't like, and who cares if you disagree with it? Like, right. just shut up, be quiet. Maybe wait twenty years, and you might change your mind, or you might realize, oh, that person was right. I was totally wrong. I've done that. We've had opinions on this within like you know months of us having an opinion and saying something, we're like, I was really wrong on that. Well, it's so easy to get on a train of thought and say a thing, like in that train of thought, and then think, well, I don't really think, no, I actually know that this makes it. Well, no, because like, because <laughs> yeah, we do that all Because Derek, who's behind the cameras yeah. right now, he, myself, Jonathan, Sean, like we get like, and the, the other guys too, but mostly us four, we get really passionate and you fixate on your thing and then you drive home at it and mm. that's what we believe until we maybe think about it <laughs> later. And then that's just what happens sometimes. And so, but you know, and I'd say it is okay to really believe a thing and you should be able to express it even if people disagree. You know what I mean? Like, no, it should all be okay. No, right. We should all, should all be able to do that. But and you should, yeah, because even within the shop, like I was saying, all of us, like, and then add James and Dylan and some of the other teachers, we all have different philosophical beliefs on things. Mine have to be right. But um, we can all agree yeah. to like love each other. Oh yeah, and like, no, we're like diametrically opposed on some things. Yeah, all like of us diametrically. But we we're all and it's like, great it's, friends, and it's cool. Yeah. I mean, I so you know, again, like I don't like any of what you say ever. Well, that's but, true. I mean, that's fun. for all. It makes me feel sad about myself, and I don't like to question any of my own thoughts. But anyway, so Billy Joe's right. <laughs> Be a punk. I had this experience when I was doing Richard Lloyd stuff. Submission. <laughs> no, when Richard Lloyd went on a rant once when I was his supporting guitar player, and I, we're on, I was on stage with him, and he started ranting in one of the crowds once. And I didn't back him up as I should backstage. We got off stage. We had to leave the stage because he said some incendiary things. Oh. But I, I should have been more supportive, like as he's my leader, right? Yeah, you know, I was his guitar player. He's the leader, and like, and even if he was wrong, you got to get behind your boss on that one. Sometimes it's I know it's crazy, but like even it's rock and roll. You know, it's rock and roll, man. It's like people aren't there to go be, see a safe library show. Like things can go wild and go a little crazy sometimes. I don't. Yeah, Axl Rose was maybe a little bit wrong when he jumped in the audience and attacked people back in his youth. Yeah, probably so. He wouldn't do that now. He'd probably break a leg or a hip or something. Or squish someone. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mean. <laughs> oh, because he's buff now, isn't he? He's, he's, he's muscular. Yeah. He's, not like, he's not like heavy. He just I'd muscle. be scared of more scared of him now, probably. He's, yeah, very, he's, very like, very he's, skinny. he's like risking I've got to watch the small skinny guys, though. Yeah, so dude, yeah, yeah, oh, dude, those guys are crazy, scrappy, man. man. Yeah, nothing, they just, yeah, nothing to lose. And they go, oh, the, whoosh, yeah. did I just yeah. get my neck cut? How did this happen? Oh my happen? god, what, what is going on? Um, no, but I think I think you know the stage etiquette too is like you got you got to be cool. Yeah, you, I like to say got to got to thicken up, which means toughen up sometimes. Like like I'm gonna say Harry Styles is tougher than a lot of these cats because like, when he gets beer thrown in his face. He's like he makes that's, a joke of it. That's the right response, right? I have seen bands like storm off, and even they were right, like people throwing water bottles. You're talking about collective soul, like or... soul, and I mean, yeah, you should. People should not be throwing full water bottles at you, and that could could be dangerous. But that's how, you, how you handle it is what impression you're going to leave with the rest of the crowd. Like I saw them one time, and I, you know, kind of came across as whiny to me. It is tough. You and, get hit by a solid, full yeah. water bottle in the head, though. That could yeah. really hurt. Or in well, the face right. could mess you up bad or right, break right. your instrument. And it's hard. I can imagine on stage, like, if you react like, ha-ha, then somebody else, it might encourage some more people to do it. So you kind of have to be like, hey, like, I love that you're all here, but, like, don't throw, like, you know, well, I mean, I things at my face. I think there's even a serious way. Like, there's some great examples of, of people stopping shows to stop fights. There's a Dave Matthews. Yep. Like I was thing. at the My Chemical Romance show yeah. and he did that. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? And hey, we're not going to do that. And then, then 
I don't know. It just makes you appear like you're. Foo Fighters have done that a bunch. Foo Fighters have done that. Um, hey, you get yeah, like, out. They see somebody being bad. Like they'll point them out if they're in the front. You know, ten rows, they're going to see you. I also realize now, especially having been on stage a tiny bit, um, it, it, I can understand anyone getting frustrated or like flustered in a moment and saying a dumb thing or like freaking out. You know what I mean? Like I, I have a little more grace for that at this point. Well, and uh, because back in the old days, you used to be able to do that. And it was just a moment. Oh, and no one would even now, know that. Now right? it's forever. Now it's for now. It's always it's, immortalized because everyone does have their cell phones out, and it's. Like when I saw that with Plague of Souls before that. So, you know what I mean? Like it was, nobody was. It was just a moment. Yeah. And it was probably, they might have been having a bad day. One of their dogs might have just died. You know, know, everybody's on stage as a person. You're a person too. All the collective thoughts that you have in your head, all the bad stuff is happening. They might have the same or worse going on. Yeah. I mean, everyone's had a bad day at work, right? And the minute you realize how little people actually think about what you're doing sometimes, is when you can actually have fun and cut loose. Yes. You know, yeah. they're not judging. They just want to have fun. If they come to see a show, they just want to have fun. Let them have it. That's there you good. go. I hope that, that helps a little bit. Yeah. Or if we meandered some, I'm sorry. Go have fun though. Go see some shows. Go support your local musicians too. Go out and see some. Tip them if they have a tip jar. And um, go see your local venues. It's important. We need to keep those around so it, it doesn't all go into the cave of the internet. Like go out and see live music. It's really important. Thanks for supporting that. Thanks for supporting us too. It's true. I'm staying we, it. we do appreciate it. Peace be with you. Click see. like, subscribe, and the bell. And you were say see something. I was gonna say see you next time. I like that. But I was I was messing up the end. The end. No, no. I just talked over you. See, that's the way we did it. Even though we're diametrically opposed, like I'm right and he's wrong, we still fixed it. <laughs> it's still fine. Still just okay. <laughs> We're done at this point, Derek. You can, you can stop the edits at don't, time you want. Don't stop it. Just keep going. Let it go. We're just going to stare into the camera. Check out my mom's Instagram. It's really funny. Going to think fine. about the chicken salad sandwich we're about to have. I'm not having it. Mm. I, 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 I know. I really wish. I, yeah, let me see it, though. You can see it. Like, before you eat it. Yeah, it's fine. Not post. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Goodbye.